Hello guys, welcome back. So I have a very interesting topic today. Today's video is specially important for two type of people. First, those who are doing their BTEC and they know in future they will pursue their MTech. And for the people already got selected in some of the great institute for doing your MTech from this year, then this video is must for you. So from the time the ranks are out from April to the first day of your MTech, you have a long three to five months window, right? And currently we are at July. Still, you have one month for sure. Like most of the IITs, most of the NITs, and all other VIT and VITs, they are starting their semester by August. So you have one month, and also a few are from September. So we wanna discuss like what we need to do like in these two months. And actually, same question I have asked to my manager before joining my job like i had that time few months left with me and we had one conversation before joining and that time i asked the same question hey what are i gonna do and he has given me a nice answer and that is hey chill now it is the time to chill actually because um, for mtech or for job for mtech especially you have only two two year right four semester and it is a very fast paced course you also feel you will go for internship last year so you have only one year to learn so it will be a fast paced course you won't be getting any time when you start your mtech to chill out actually you will get but yeah mostly you won't get like if you think like that so for you like enjoying the life chilling would be this part like this one month is ideal for doing those part so if you have not done this thing from the gate till now then my suggestion would be please like this video and stop this video here and go and go for a vacation guys you have done a great thing so you need to enjoy your lives that's the whole thing but if you have already enjoyed your life like me i can't enjoy fully like i need to do one hour two hour study or some some productive work enjoying is also productive work but yes uh, in my career i need to do so if you are like a person like me then we gonna discuss the next part so i have noted down everything here a few of the important so see we have basically two type of people like who are going for mtech uh, and if you are in btech so you will also be in these two part mostly one that you have done a great thing in your gate right and you got selected into a core vlsi branch like your branch name has a vlsi or something like integrated circuit or like kind of things but those are core vlsi branch and for the people second type of people who are got selected to a mtech but not in core vlsi like raf communication signal processing like me so for this two type of person i have two different tasks you can do in this one month or one and a half month for sure another thing i'll be discussing five to six things also in the end of this video i'll discuss some bonus points so don't leave in between you don't need to follow all you just need to follow one or two of them because one month is very short time and you don't gonna study for eight hours now <laughs> not at least you should enjoy life right so if i take two hours a day you are doing something then take only one of my suggestion and implement that so the first suggestion for both of the guide those who are going for a core vlsi and those who are not going there and that is you can revise again your gate syllabus why i am telling that you don't gonna write your gate again right because see when you go after two years like your mtech is over no not actually two year one year only in between you'll have your placement sessions and trust me all the first level screening exam what happened there 80 percent or sometimes more than 80 percent question come directly from your gate syllabus right so if you can revise them and also when you're gonna revise your gate syllabus you can structure all the notes so that whenever you have your placement session like you need to sit for the exam written test that time you have the note ready the same issue happened with me actually and most of my batchmate because we were in our college we have carried all the notes to our hostels and in between covid came we came to our home and that time i don't have any notes with me no gate notes so me and my batchmate have faced a lot of issue to get the notes collect the notes compile the notes again and prepare for the uh, screening exam and also this will help you in your mtech for example if you are going for a communication branch right or a vlsi branch also uh, there are few basic things for communication your digital and analog communication your random theory need to be perfect so and during gate preparation probably you haven't given much importance to those right 
but now you can again revise those whenever you are revising your gate syllabus and you will be prepared yourself to study the advanced level topic on those uh, subjects by this way you can easily score a great cgpa in your mtech and as we all know cgpa are the best like most important most important thing for the on campus placement for off campus there is another story but for on campus cgpa uh, could be the turning point actually so never ever over like underestimate your cgpa so this first point like preparing your gate notes revising your gate will help you in getting a great cgpa in your mtex also and the second point is mostly important for the people who are not getting a core vlsi branch in their mtex because if you're getting a non vlsi branch and there would be some topics which are not directly related to the circuit like vlsi design or uh, like communication in rf there will be many things so you need to study those but at the same time you need to prepare your vlsi profile also by choosing the perfect combination of program electives right and which imply there would be some additional load you need to take during your mtech right so if you do one or two courses now in one and one half month it would be great and one of the best course which you can do now if you are from a non vlsi like you are going for a non vlsi mtech then it that would be the very log very important but again if you are going for a core vlsi branch then very log is not needed actually because in your course syllabus only you will have that you will have the time to learn it that time for example i show you from the vlsi branch of iit delhi then you can see these are your core subjects right and in core subject we have iec lab 1 iec lab 2 so one of them is your very log like uh, writing codes on very log getting the things so that's why if you're go going for a vlsi then you don't need to think anything actually you just need to follow your curriculum but the next point is important for you if you're going for vlsi and that is taking care your analog ic search. and according to me i'm not sure about other analog ic is the toughest subject in the mtech vlsi here also you can see in iit delhi it is called analog integrated circuit in other colleges it might be called something else but it would be related to that on analog ic circuits so in this one and a half month you can also take this as a, as a option that hey let me finish half of this syllabus at least so that i have some breathing space because your semester only four months there would be two or three project would be there like in our college iit delhi we have projects like uh, what called subject projects so going through the concepts going doing the simulation is very tough and very hectic also and you also have some other subject also not only one subject so if you are going for a vlsi code then this would be a perfect thing to be done and i know many of you or maximum of you going for a digital profile but hey this analog ic would be in your code so if you don't score a good marks there grades there then your cgp will be down again for non vlsi guy who are, who are going for some other kind of mtech for them it is great they don't have analog ic in their uh what called core subjects so if they are not building their core like analog sites analog profile they are not building for analog site then they can skip this course directly right they can just focus on very log now in one and a half month they can build their digital profile from now only but hey if you are going for non vlsi mtech but you are also interested to build your analog then you can go for a analog ic in this one and a half month and the next point and which is very important for both of the people vlsi non vlsi and that is you should have a command on your eda tool how practically we do the things like simulating in the schematics uh, then a uh, little bit of layouts those things so and mostly in btech we have the labs for doing those vlsi lab or some other names we have done already but if you are not sure what you have done in your btech lab then this time you can also utilize to get back to those things those projects because as i mentioned earlier that you will also have your projects like subject projects right so in subject projects it would be a simulation project only so if you are not burst with your simulation then for one two week you would be just doing this where that thing you know nothing right uh, and it, it, it is a time waste and two week in a semester of four months is a huge amount of time so it would be better you can just follow this uh, this playlist here which i have already made that playlist is recommended for first and second year of vtech student but there is nothing like delay if you are not sure then you can follow this get the basic 
idea how things are working they are running and for sure i think you can save one or two week of your mtech time so now is the time for bonus tips so tips number one and that is there are many courses are there for example if i take example of iit delhi this course simos rfic design that is mostly depend on the study of research paper and you also know in final year you're gonna do a projects there you need to study the research paper and if you have never read any research paper then it will be again one or two week of time to get a company with the research paper how you need to read right so you can also utilize this buffer time one and a half month at least 10 days to read 10 to 20 research paper in some interesting topic for example uh, any digital circuits if you want to go for digital any analog circuits like there are in open there are huge uh, research paper are there you can just get them from IEEE or from other sources and read them try to get the thing you won't be getting everything it's okay nobody get it but at least you know the structure like abstracts uh, how things are written and after you st start reading those research paper in one two three five research paper after you will get a gist of them and that is a very good thing to do this time because that time you will save your one or two week when you're gonna actually read the research paper for your projects uh, subject projects or the major projects there is another tips and that is actually very important and that is utilize this time to connect with your alumni or the current student who are in the, the, their second year now in mtech you can just ask them and they would be the great guide right because they already have gone through the first year ta task they know how to get the good cgpa exactly how the professor deal with student how the questions they form and what are their psychology actually and from alumina you also know like opportunity in the industry like in industry uh, how they are feeling or which subject is actually helping them in uh, from their mtex syllabus to their work now so you can give more pressure or more important to that subject when you start your m and bonus tip three would be uh, if you are never like actually we have done codings for sure we have some coding subject in our btech but if you currently think hey i never did any coding or probably you don't remember anything of your coding then i will also suggest you please utilize 15 to 20 days in this buffer time to do some basics of coding because that is very important for very long for any job that, that is very important right and to get a bird's eye view like how codes or programming is important for vlsi engineer you can check out this video and i will see you in our next video also you can comment down your own tips if you have something to share with us and don't forget to subscribe this channel if you haven't and i'll see you in our next video till then tata bye bye